have this two guard on, I'm going to go ahead and get on the tail, and I'm going to shave up the back of the tail with my two guard. Um, a lot of times, I'm going to comb that down, and I'm going to shave right up the back. This is not a flag tail. This is a carrot tail. I want to get all my clipper work out of the way while I have the clippers going. So I'm not going back and forth to clippers to scissors to clippers to scissors. That's just my way of doing it. Once I have my 10 on, I'm going to get all my 10 blade stuff out of the way. Same with the 40 and so on. So I just went all the way up to the back of the tail to make this shorter. And I did it with a two, so I had a little bit of play here to help with the carrot. You don't want it to look too tight or too exaggerated. You might get some of those customers that come in and they have a flag tail. Don't take that flag tail off unless you ask them. Okay, I'm cleaning off my table because I'm going to start on my feet. My clipper work is done for now. <coughs> if they're not used to that, this nice tail, then in you had that flag because we still have some that come in the shop that way and you take it off, they may think you're incorrect, although you're correct. You, wanna, you don't want to do something without discussing them discussing it with them. The reason the hair is to be on the front of the tail is to make this dog look shorter in back. If you can see, if it was down back like this, it would look longer and your eye would flow to the outside. Here, it makes it shorter. Now, if I took my clipper to here, to the base, and made this base really small, I wouldn't make, be able to do much of a carrot, now would I? So it's important that I had enough room here to blend that in.